to be with you. Yeah. 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 Boy, I'd rather be with you. Yeah, I'm here. Rather be with you by Boosie Collins. But I actually, I love the original version, but I also love the uh, version by Beyonce. Um, that's the issue that I'm telling y'all. I feel like it's somebody who feels like they're in a situation, but they'd rather be somewhere else. That's um, the energy that I'm hearing. It's the song that keeps replaying over and over again, y'all. So we're going to channel that energy and see what uh, message we get, okay? I'd rather be with you, boo. Yeah. Yeah, this person looking for you everywhere. Okay. Ooh, they wondering if they if you're happy without them and they're wishing that they had treated you better. They got some news that they want to share with you, but they can't even they don't even got the courage to call you up or hit you up. Okay. But they steady every time they go out somewhere, every time um things just constantly reminding them of you. They could be out and a song come on on the radio. Or a song they playing in their playlist come on and they remind them of you. Um, they just look for you everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so this person saying they know that they was a distraction from your pain. I feel like this person is hoping that one day whatever it is that they did, they know that they messed up with you. They know. I feel like they feel like it was more so of their fault. And they're hoping that you can forgive them one day. They lied to you about something. But it looks like they're trying to become a better person. They're saying that the time, it wasn't right. It wasn't the right time. They, they were in a selfish season. They were in a season of survival. And it was just the timing. They say it was the timing. The timing was off. And wasn't the right time. I feel like you found out some type of truth about this person. And it crushed you. Okay. But this person wants you to know that. Regardless of how it looks. Because looks can be very deceiving. Looks can be extremely deceiving. No matter how it looks. They ain't got it all together. Okay. They ain't got it all together. I feel like you left this person because you found out that they was dealing with somebody else. They look at this, uh, they look back at this situation like, you know what, I learned a lot from that. I'm going to take the lesson from it. Um, but they felt like they weren't the one for you. It was not time for you and this person to be together because they just feel like the timing was off. They're trying to become a better person. It was in a, in a stage of survival. Okay. So they're starting to understand this connection a whole lot more. And I feel like they um, are regretting um, being away from you. They're having regrets. They're hoping that they bump into you. They hoping that they bump bump into you somewhere. Because wherever they're at now, it don't feel the same. They don't got the same type of connection that they had with you. Cause I do feel like they could be with um someone else at the time. I feel like they could be with someone else. But that connection ain't ain't nothing compared to what you and they, what you and this person had. It just was the time it was off. It wasn't a good time for y'all two to be together. I feel like this person was in survival mode when they stepped into your life. And I feel like they lied to you about something. They didn't keep it real with you. Um, and I feel like you found out some type of truth and you bounced. Yeah, make the effort, getting to know each other, and free yourself. Keep an open mind. I feel like this person is extremely attracted to you, but they also know that you had deserved better. You deserve better than what they had to offer. They knew that their offer was going to suck. Their offer, what they brought to you, was crumbs. And they knew that you deserved better. But you're always on this person's mind. 
I feel like this person is going to come in and try to make some type of effort to get to know you all over again. I feel like some of y'all have decided to, like, you freed yourself from the situation. Um, you took back your power. You planted your power back. This person is coming back around to make some type of effort to get to uh, know you more, get on a deeper level with you. Um, they're wanting to um, just open up more to you, get to know you a little bit deeper. You get to know them a little bit deeper. I feel like they're getting ready to come in and make this effort. This person was real childish. They know that they was childish. They also, for some, they took the time out because they needed to focus on their child or children. And they know that they, uh, they misled you. They misled you. So I got deception right here. They misled you. They it's like they they called you in. They asked God for somebody like you and mistreated you when they got you. They do want to have this heart to heart conversation because I, this person does feel like a disconnect. Like you guys aren't. I don't feel like you're even in communication with this person. I feel like the part that. Um, there's parts of this person that you don't fully understand or know because we got to get into know each other and then deception right here up under it. You could have been going through something really difficult. Like this person felt like you were vulnerable because we got, I know I was a distraction to your pain. You could have been going through something already probably from a previous situation or just something that, you know, life gives you all these different types of hurdles. Um, you could have been already going through something and this person victim out like you were really like a victim to this person. Um, this person could have looked at you as um, an easy target or felt like you were um, you were just accessible to them in some way, shape or form. And they deceived you. We got wedding here, and then we got release your ex very soon. This person could have been married. You could find out that this person was married. I feel like I'm hearing, I'm also hearing, if it's meant to be, it'll be. It'll come back. It'll come back if it's meant to be. Because I got very soon to release your ex. I feel like this person is getting ready to let go of an ex and come back around to you. Wanting this connection with you. For some, you could have found out that this person was married. They were separated. They did not have, was not divorced. Um, but for some, this person is deciding that very soon they're getting ready to let this person that they're in a connection with go. And they're coming to you expressing this love to you, telling you that you could be, you're the one for them. But see, what they didn't know is during this time of, during this period of separation, y'all being separated, you've been putting yourself first. Some of y'all don't even want this situation because it's unrequited and y'all already found somebody new. But some of y'all, this person is traveling back to you, but they're trying to get you to let your guard down. They're coming to you with this playful ass energy because they want you to give this relationship a chance. Okay, so now we're going to use the Blunt Truth Oracle here. And I want to see what this person wants to say. I feel like this person is in a situation that they no longer want to be in. And now they're thinking like, you know what, I had somebody good. I had something good and I let that go. Oh, 
Yeah, they're going through an awakening, and they're seeing signs about you everywhere. Like I said, they they are already looking for you everywhere. Like, they're trying to find out where you are, what you're up to, what you got going on. And they're saying, can you accept me as I am? You're too good for me. I don't deserve you. See, this person already know that they don't deserve you. They already know they don't deserve you. And they're going through this awakening. Like, you know what? I had somebody good. I had somebody. And I messed that up. I had something good. I am going to tell you how I truly feel. Okay, so this person is going to come back around telling you what's really on their mind. What, what they got going on. I'm ready for a fresh start with you. This person ready for a fresh start. They ready for a fresh start. They getting ready to leave this connection that they are currently in. Because they rather be with you. I feel like some of y'all are open to this. And some of y'all like, nah, it's too late. I got somebody. I got somebody else. What you thought? <laughs> okay, let's see. We got, I don't really know what to say to you. But I want to date you. Mm. This person don't know what you're gonna say to them. They don't know what what you what what type of information you found out about them, heard about them. They're not sure how you're gonna even come at them. They just know that they couldn't. <laughs> I feel so much love for you. And we got, I'm so scared. I can't face this right now. But my higher self is trying to reach you. They higher self trying to reach you. They trying to reach you. They trying to manifest their way back into, into your reality. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, there's songs. There's They listening to the radio. They listening to certain songs. And I feel like the song that is playing is, I'd rather be with you, boo. Yeah. Oh, I'd rather be with you. That's what I'm hearing. I'd rather be with you. Because I love the way you scream my name. <laughs> and there's no other. I'm affected by cosmic and collective energies. No, they not. So they being quiet right now because they're trying to protect you from their ego or they were trying to protect you from their ego when they was going, when you guys were actually together or going through a separation. But I feel like this person is going through some type of awakening and they're realizing that they messed up a good thing. Now they're ready to have a fresh start with you. They don't know how you're going to come at them. They don't know what you're going to say, how you feel about it. But they just feel this love for you. But I feel like they're scared to face you right now. But that their higher self is definitely trying to contact you. Like, they're doing affirmations. They could be doing all types of stuff, like trying to manifest you back into their world. Okay? That's what I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later.